Hey guys, so I just finished making this branch inspired friendship bracelet. So now I am moving on to making a chevron version of branch. This here is a chevron bracelet and we are going to make it in the colors of branch. So I have decided to use blue, dark blue, neon green, kind of a turquoise and purple using the colors of Happy Branch. To do this project, all you need are five colors of string, tape, and scissors. I will be including the diagram right here, coordinating with the colors I will be using just to make it easier for you. And you will need two strings of each color. Now, if you are new to my mom craft channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell because I will be making a lot more designs. The amount of string I use is the same amount as if you were measuring on the person as if they were hugging a big bear. Stretch that string out all the way and then that way you have their arm's length of how much string you need, okay? Now we're going to go ahead and make a knot, leaving about three inches on the other side. It's going to be a loose knot because we have to first divide our strings evenly on both sides. Now I pull my knot tight, being that I have one of each color on this side, one of each color on this side, I'm going to organize them real quick the way I want my pattern to be. And then I'm going to get started. Okay, this being my simple pattern, light green, light blue, dark blue, purple, green. Same on the opposite side. We're going to start with the light green working towards the middle, light green working towards the middle, blue towards the middle, blue towards the middle, and so on. If you have never seen the stitch before, when you go from left to middle, you're going to go over, just like that, reach in the middle here, grab it, and pull through. The blue one is going to be tight because if you don't, you can see that the knot swaps. So always hold the blue tight, two stitches per one string. So we're going to go back over, we're going to reach in, pull through. After I do my two on the light blue, dark blue is next, same thing, one, loop over, grab it, two. Same thing, purple, over, twice, and then we go to green, over, pull through, see? Just kind of grab it. Now our light green is here in the middle and this is our new order on this side. To go in the other direction, same thing, but we're doing everything on a mirror image. So over, grab under, like here. Hold the blue tight, pull, over, under, pull. This is all going the opposite direction. I like to now show you another trick. I hold all the strings I'm working on, some down here. The one I have now is on top and it's always tight. Then it kind of floops and I pull my next one. You can see this finger holds the ones that are done. This finger down here holds the ones I still need to do. And these two pinch the one I am working on. Grab, move. 
finish off this stitch because these two are the same color. You can go this way or you can go this way. Doesn't matter, just always have it by the end the same direction. Okay, flatten out. You can see this is the beginning of our design. Now we do the same thing, always starting on the left with this one. I'm going to grab all my pieces that are on the left, move them to the side, and only work on the one I currently need. Two stitches. To the side, grab the next. to the side, grab the next. Okay, the blue's now in the middle. Now we work only on the right side until we hit that one in the middle. tie the two together. Again, it doesn't matter which one you do, it's the same color. And as I flatten it out, you can see the chevron design starting. I'm going to branch these out again, only work on my left hand side, starting from the left, going to the middle. Oops. Now you can tie, my favorite spot to put these is on my leg. I just tape it to my leg. It's the best position I have found to make these. But you can tape it anywhere you have a surface and the stronger the tape, the better it holds to the surface. Pinch these, hold that. Okay, our third color is done. As we move along, you can see all the colors have a spot. It's hard to mess up if you're looking exactly. Here to see the hands better, I have these ones that I'm working on on the left, tied in my finger. These two are going to pinch. This one is going to go over and work its way to the middle. Find my purple, separate my right hand side, and go purple. Two 
two knots per string and work your way towards the middle. Okay, you can see the pattern, you get the idea. I will finish this bracelet really fast and show you what it looks like. This design, however, is the most basic design. So if you have never made the most basic, I will be posting a link for this one right here so that you can learn step by step. First with the most basic, then going to the chevron, and eventually I can teach you more advanced designs like this one here or this one here. There it is. Branch inspired chevron design. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit a big thumbs up. Subscribe for more crafts at Nat and Essie Crafts. And if you want to watch some of these other designs, make sure you watch our playlist. This one here was inspired by the troll branch.